Nehemiah chapter 6, I am carrying on a great project and I cannot go down. Why would the work stop while I leave it and go down to you? That's, that's a great statement. These are the three great dangers that can destroy any Christian's life, any Christian's calling, any Christian's mission if you don't understand the value in our life. We have a value in our, in our life and that's why um, the, the topic today is don't sell yourself short. The value of a life is the precious blood of Jesus Christ because Jesus purchased us with his own blood. And that's the value. God, God is saying, I have a value. In, I have put a value in your life and don't sell yourself short. So what are these three dangers? The first danger is discouragement. And, and Billy Graham uh, once said, the Christian life is not a constant high. I have my moments of des uh, deep discouragement. I have to go to God in prayer with tears in my eyes and say, Oh God, forgive me or help me. Elijah, one of the greatest uh, uh, prophet in the Bible, he was discouraged and he, at one point he said, Lord, take my life. He was prepared to die. He was discouraged in life. So discouragement can affect any Christian and we need to guard ourselves against uh, uh, discouragement. So how can we overcome discouragement? One of the lessons I learned in my life, yes, we are involved, where, whatever project that we are, we, we are involved in a great project that God has given us, but at the same time, we have to understand it's God's project, it's not our project. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, 15 says, God says, do not be afraid or discouraged for the battle is not yours but God's. And in Joshua, God says, uh, God says to Joshua, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And that's one thing we need to remember. God wants us to be strong and courageous. And He's with us. He's with us. He doesn't want us to be discouraged. He wants us to guard us against discouragement. And and second uh, 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 danger for a Christian against this great mission that God has given us. Distraction. Refuse to fight small battles with petty people. Your life is bigger and better than that and, and Saul from Old Testament is a great example who destroyed the great calling the great mission that God had given him because he was distracted but all his life he spent life chasing David he was totally distracted in life he got his priorities twisted and he was fighting a very very small battle we need to stop fighting Shimei's in our life we need to refuse to get distracted in our life because we have a great calling and we cannot fight small battles. And Paul said, set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. And the third and, and the final um, danger for, for a, a Christian is deception. In the Bible, Esau gave up his birthright, which was equivalent to his calling. For a mere soup, just because his, uh, he was uh, famished, uh, he was uh, so hungry, he was so tired, he traded his life for a cup of soup. Isn't that a tragedy? What is a cup of soup worth compared to the great calling, great uh, mission that God has given? And one of the most successful American golfers of our time is Tiger Woods. In November 2009, news broke that uh, we all know that Woods had countless affairs with several different uh, women while he was married. That, and this is what he said. I felt that I had worked hard my entire life and deserved to enjoy all the temptations around me. I felt I was entitled. Thanks to money and fame, I didn't have to go far to find them. I was strong. I was foolish. A, a news website it, uh, wrote about uh, Tiger Woods and concluded this way. Woods, Woods has not won a major golf tournament since 2009 and has been a shell of his former self. Isn't that a tragedy? A shell of a former self. That is a tragedy. And Bishop T.D. Jake said, uh, uh, don't make permanent uh, decisions over a temporary, temporary circumstance. That's a very powerful quote. And that's, that's sometimes we, we are tempted to get deceived. Just like Isa decided to give up his birthright for a cup of soup, we give up so easily. But when Nehemiah, he was tempted, to, uh, to go down, to tempt it, to compromise. He said, I am carrying on a great project and I cannot go down. And the Bible says, let us throw off everything that hinders us. That, 
the sin that so easily entang entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us fixing our eyes on Jesus the pioneer and the perfecter of our faith and God wants us to run with perseverance and fix our eyes on Jesus he completed the wall this attack this temptation was just before the finish just before the finish the last attack last temptation for Nehemiah to give up and 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 it doesn't matter how we start this great project in our life it doesn't matter how we start being a a, a, a great parent it matters how we finish this great project it, it matters how we finish the great mission that God has given us how we how we are going to finish this is very very important in the last minute especially don't give up don't get discouraged because your breakthrough could be near you're almost at the end of your breakthrough and then you give up because you're facing a discouragement or you get distracted because you think it's not going to happen and and we need to understand this great project that God has given us he's going to complete it because it's God's project and he would began a good work in, in, in you and me is faithful to complete it I was reading Zechariah, uh, Zechariah chapter 4 where God talks about the building of the temple in Zerubbabel one verse says the hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of the temple and the hands of Zerubbabel will complete it in other words God started a mission in our life he gave us a great family he gave us a great career he great, gave us a, a, a great church to be part of and, and, and he gave us a great ministry and he might have given a great project or great mission but God will complete it and all that we have to do is we just have to be faithful we just have to be faithful and and, and, and God is going to take care of our families and, and God is going to take care of the job and we just have to be faithful and Billy Graham said I'm going to finish with this quote and he said God did not call us to be successful in a worldly sense but to be faithful 